Today I have a PP19 Bison class setter for you guys and as you can see of course it's level 49. Had to level it up all the way and test out all the attachments that the Bison does come with just so I can assess which attachments are actually worth putting on this weapon. Now one thing I will say right off the bat that I really like about the Bison, it's got the highest damage out of all the SMGs out there and number two it has a really large magazine that it comes with by default. Now as far as damage goes I did test this out in a private match. So with no attachments, it takes about three shots to kill from five to 10 meters, then four shots to kill from 15 to 20 meters, and then five shots to kill from 25 to 30 meters, six shots to kill at 35 to 60 meters. So this already is pretty good for an SMG compared to the other ones in the game. Now, the only issue that I have with the Bison is that it has slight recoil when you're engaging at range. So for the muzzle, I'm using the compensator. Now it says here it expels gases upward to aggressively fire muzzle climb and the pro is recoil control and you do get two cons which are aim down side speed and aiming stability but we're not going to worry about that because we do have other attachments that totally negate that now there is also another attachment called the 8.7 inch steel it also gives you more recoil control i wanted to see which one was worth putting on my gun the compensator or that barrel so i did a test i did a comparison side by side by side now as you can see the first two are very identical the fact that the barrel does not reduce that recoil like it says it does it's actually a useless attachment in my eyes so there's no really real point to use it if it looks super identical to an attachmentless bison now look at the compensator look how it stops at a certain point and it just stays there it's very consistent at that one point notice how much tighter that bullet spread is between the bullet travel when it goes up that wall it's a lot more tighter a lot more precise and that is the deciding factor why i chose the compensator over the other other barrel that also does claim that it gives you recoil control all right so moving on to barrel so i'm using the 8.7 inch polygonal barrel now i did mention the steel earlier in the video but because the recoil control does absolutely nothing there's no reason why i should even use this setup especially it comes at the cost of two cons versus the polygonal you get the damage range and you get the bullet velocity with only one con of your aim down sight speed so of course i needed to test this out does the damage range actually work so with the polygonal it's three shots to kill from 15 meters and four shots to kill at 20 to 25 meters five shots to kill at 30 to 35 meters and six shots to kill to 40 meters in conclusion this attachment actually does work to some extent so again this helps increase the overall viability and optimization of this weapon by including this attachment if you want to take it a step further and reduce those shots to kill make sure you're using stopping power as a field upgrade it's two shots to kill from 5 to 15 meters and three shots to kill from 20 to 35 meters and just for testing sake it's four shots to kill from 40 to 7 meters and that's not even bad at all especially with how much ammo you're given in every single mag this is definitely a really great setup to use so i highly recommend putting on stopping power and combining it with the 8.7 inch polygonal attachment to optimize that three shot kill potential all right so moving on to laser we got the tac laser it increases your aim down sight speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness now it does have a con of of your laser being visible to enemies you got to make sure not to really ads down long lines of sight too long because what happens is if there's enemies around they're going to be able to see your green laser flickering around and they're going to trace that back to you and that's going to expose your location making it easier for enemies to find you if you want to maximize the potential of this attachment specifically make sure you're using the weapon as intended you got to take it up close and personal that's why i give you guys the data of how many shots it takes to kill from different ranges so you guys get an idea of which 
ranges are the most effective for this specific weapon and that brings me to my next attachment which is the corvus skeleton stock now this one is really really great attachment right here now the aim walking movement speed is very important because it allows you to strafe left and right making you a much harder target to hit for the enemy and number two the movement speed yes your mobility is already good as is because you're running with an smg but to further increase your movement speed and just be as fast as possible and move around the map quicker is going to give you an advantage over your enemies who are using much larger weapons and lastly your aim down sight speed is increased as well and this is important to get that cracked out aim so you can snap on enemies a lot quicker and this is very important if you take out attachments on the bison without the aim down sight speed you'll quickly notice a big difference in the movement speed and ads speed it's a very very big difference so for perks i have no perks we're going to get into that in a little bit but for my last and final attachment we got the rear grip which is called the stippled grip tape this is a must have in my opinion i always use it on almost every setup that offers this attachment right here it allows you to aim down sight a lot faster but the biggest reason why is because it comes with a sprint to fire speed increase now this is important especially because we're using an smg we're playing a lot more aggressive we're flanking around the map we're playing smart being able to fire our weapon a lot faster after a sprint is going to be super important since again we are playing aggressive we're trying to get into close quarter combat so having this will give us the upper hand and being one step ahead of the enemy versus the person who does not have this attachment on all right so moving on to secondary i don't really have a preference for a secondary weapon you could always use whatever you want i don't really use my secondary not too often if i ever need to is because i'm out of ammo for my primary but that's not going to be the case with the bison because of how much ammo it has and the perk setup i'm about to show you real quick all right so for perks for perk number one i'm using using EOD. How many times have we died by claymores, proximity mines, C4s, you know, all those stuff are really annoying deaths that we can avoid. So that's why there's a perk like EOD that will allow us to survive and take less damage when it comes to explosives in the game. Now for perk two is ghost. No question. Never run without ghost. It's so easy to get UAVs in this game and Intel is everything. Minimap does not work the same way as it once did in previous Call of Duties because the enemy fire does not show up on the minimap. So that makes the UAV that much more valuable and that's why ghost is super important because when they call in uavs your location is going to be pinged on their compass and on their minimap exposing your location and making you an easy target so always run ghost ghost is super important all right so for perk number three i love the perk called tracker tracker literally shows you the enemy footprints and this is especially great for aggressive players who want to run around the map a little bit more and play more aggressive and flank so for me i personally enjoy flanking i like surprising the enemy and outsmarting them so being able to do that requires a lot more intel it's a lot harder to predict enemy movement so having something like tracker is going to be able to literally illuminate enemy footprints around the map as i'm moving along and show me where there's enemies in the area that i never knew that there were all right so let's get into my specialist bonus setup right here i like running the perk specialist because it gives me all the perks in the game after i've gotten a certain amount of kills and i'm that much harder to kill because i've basically basically got all the perks in the game all in one and that's why I enjoy running specialists. Now for at two kills, I'm gonna get my scavenger. Now the reason why I have it at two kills is because I wanna be able to replenish my ammo as soon as possible. Then at four kills, I have hardline. Now some people have an issue with this. Uh, they say like, yo, how are you using hardline when you don't even using kill streaks? You know, well, first of all, like you're not paying attention to the video because I clearly explain that you earn your perks a lot sooner than you would then without running the hardline, all right? You don't need to use hardline line just because you're using kill streaks if you look at the more info section it literally shows you reduces specialist perk cost by one so that means that at five kills i'm gonna earn my battle harden and then at seven kills i'm going to get my specialist bonus perks which is basically all the perks in the game plus the weapon perks called recon and sleight of hand so that's why having hardline in my specialist is important to me because of those reasons right there and with how fast the time to kill in this game that one less kill could mean the difference between you getting all your perks versus not so to me that's just the way i see it and why i choose hardline to be at four kills versus scavenger at two kills because scavenger i still want that ammo all right so for my lethals i'm using the c4 i cannot stress this enough man using the c4 is not only fun but it's also convenient 
and also effective. Now, the reason why I say it's fun is because you can run around with it, especially when you're rushing around with the Bison. You're rushing around, you're in a gunfight, you guys hit each other. Both of you are recovering, busy reloading your weapons and stuff like that. Well, you know what? I'm not going to wait for the guy to do all that. I would rather just throw my C4 while he's still hurt and recovering himself and just blow him up and get that kill and gunfight over with. Toss it in a window, kill somebody camping. Or at times when you're playing Domination, you could throw it on a flag and destroy whoever is trying to capture the flag really, really easily easily and it's just really fun and it's just so satisfying getting those kills now i do get some comments of people asking me like yo how do you detonate the explosive while it's in midair well you know all you got to do is just toss it in midair and double tap square whenever you feel like exploding the c4 so that's pretty much how you do it right there but again lethal is all personal preference use whatever you want use whatever cages to your play style all right so for tactical i'm using stim shot this is very important especially since we're playing aggressive up close and personal a lot of enemies coming you're too scared to run because you're hurt and you might get popped in the back but if you pop the stim shot and then you sprint it gives you a lot more confidence to get out of there or if you're in a situation where you're in a 1v1 and you and the enemy are both recovering their health if you've got the stim shot you're going to recover a lot faster and then you can ambush that guy a lot quicker before he could even recover and take him out so that's why i like stim shot is very great and make sure you use it at opportune times just because you get hit once from a distance doesn't mean you should use it right away you know use it in very very tight situations just don't feel comfortable and your health is very low all right so that about wraps it up for today's video i hope you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate if you dropped a like on this video and make sure to subscribe around here if you're new make sure to turn on notifications as well so you can find your way back to the channel for more videos just like this and i will see you guys in the next video man peace